Imagine that you could pay me $250 to get rid of all your personality type doubts. Yeah, that's right. From now on, you'd never question anything about your life. You'd know everything with absolute certainty. Who you are, what future you have in store for yourself, what career to pursue, what relationships to pursue, and how to live and conduct your life. In some ways, that's the ultimate goal of anyone that studies typology, this desire to discover truth, who you are, your identity, and ultimately, yeah, your personality type. That's impossible. Nobody can tell you who you are. I can't and I could never claim to know who you are. Sure, sometimes I go out on the streets and I type people for fun, but ultimately I can't say with certainty that they are that personality type. Only they can confirm or deny if that's true or not. You have full authority to define yourself and to decide for yourself what kind of a person you want to be. It's your choices in the end, how you want to live, what kind of a person you want to be, and what kind of life you want to live for yourself. Well, many come into typology looking, hoping to find a manual, a handbook, a code that they can follow and repeat to perfection. And I can see the appeal of it. Imagine never having to question anything about your life again. Imagine never having to introspect and wonder or think about these kind of matters. Well, here's the thing. That's not what typology was meant to be. Actually, typology was meant to get you to introspect more, to get you to question more, to get you to think more about who you are and what kind of life you live and what kind of life you want to live. This desire for absolute certainty in regards to the self is what allows you to become more easily manipulated by cults and arrogant self-proclaimed experts. People that claim to know you better than you do. People that claim to know who you should date, what kind of life you should live and what kind of choices you should be making just based on a brief interaction via voice chat or via video call. There's lots of people like that in the world. People that speak with passion and heated arrogance and say they know the truth, they've discovered the holy grail, they know everything, yet science hasn't seen how smart they are. Science hasn't been able to realize yet how brilliant their minds are. They are one step ahead of everyone else. They have figured things out that nobody else has. But here's the thing. The people that claim to know what truth is are usually the ones that are the furthest away from what that is. The thing with many of these uh, grandiose experts is that they only want a little bit of your money and also your undying loyalty. You can't question them, you can't uh, uh, challenge anything they say, you have to agree with everything and if you don't see things the way they do, well, that's because you are stupid. You're ignorant. You're the one that doesn't know. Well, if they tell you you're an introvert and you feel like an extrovert, that's on you. Yeah, you're just completely blinded by self-deceit. <laughs> and this, this is the great scam. And honestly, in a sense, you are the sucker who fell for it, to speak frankly. Those that claim to know the truth are the ones that know the least. They are asking for your money, not your questions. And the burden of proof lies entirely on you not on them. You're the one who's an idiot for not seeing that they're correct. And if the session turns out to be a failure, and if they tell you the opposite to who you thought you were, well, that's because you were the ignorant one, and they were the experts, and you were the fool. But what if we rejected that premise? What if we zoomed out and thought about it from a bigger point of view? Isn't it you that has to go on and live your life? Isn't it you that has to live your own truth? Isn't it you that ultimately has to define for yourself what being a certain personality type means for you? Imagine if we flipped the script on these people and we said, hey, actually, I'm the one that's paying you money. You're the one that's supposed to explain to me why you think the way you do. What is it you're seeing in me? Why do you see it? And what is it that made you decide I was this personality type? You have to educate me. I'm paying money here. I'm expecting that you can explain to me, that you can put in words, that you can help me see and learn and discover things that I didn't previously know about myself. And well, if you can't do that, if you rely on arrogance, if you rely on aggressive tactics and manipulation and gaslighting, well, uh, I'm not going to spend my money on getting flamed by you. <laughs> this session is over. Now, here's the thing, it's ultimately up to you if you believe in something or not. No matter what 
I or any other person tells you. It's up to you to decide if you think that's true or not. And if it's not true, you are the one that has to speak up and say, hey, I actually don't really relate to that. And actually, I don't really believe in that. And actually, I don't agree with this. I actually feel very differently. And I think you misunderstood when I said that, because honestly, actually, uh, what I meant was this. And here's the thing, you know, a person that chooses to define for themselves who they are and chooses to define for themselves what that means is going to be happier than a person that chooses to define themselves purely based on what other people think. If you're a person that goes out and asks everyone else, hey, do you, who am I? What kind of person am I? What kind of person do you think I am? And if you are a kind of person that believes in everyone else and does what everyone else tells you, well, they say I'm like this, so I'm just going to go out and try and be that way. Well, you're going to be less happy because ultimately most of the time when people say you are a certain personality type or a certain type of way, that's usually because it benefits them that you are that kind of a person. It helps them, it supports them that you have that kind of an identity. And so how they see you says more about them and who they are and what they need from you rather than what you are. And so if you want to live a life for yourself, a happy life, a fulfilling life, where choices make you happy, not anybody else, well, you have to decide for yourself who you are and what that means for you. The thing is, I haven't offered someone a typing session in, in uh, quite a long time now, and I stopped doing it because I stopped seeing the value of it. Instead, what I tend to offer these days is self-typing sessions. If you want, I'd be happy to talk to you for $25 to $50 on patreon.com slash ericdor. And those sessions, they're all about you. It's you that chooses to explain who you are. It's you that chooses to define who you are. And it's you that chooses to answer my questions the way you think is true for you. And ultimately, you decide what the, your answers mean and if they are right or false. The only thing that I can do is offer you some insight. I noticed you said this. Is that true? Do you really feel that way? And beyond that, what I try to offer is tools and methods. Well, if you want to prove that you're an introvert, and if you want to know for certainty that you're an introvert, well, I'd suggest that you try this and this and this, and then you decide for yourself how that felt and how that affected you and whether that felt right for you. I offer the tools and methods that you use to determine your personality type, and ultimately it's a self-typing session. So you're doing this for yourself because it gives you value and hopefully I help you. Hopefully I'm able to give you some value. And if not, yeah, I did my best. <laughs> I hope that uh, people come to become more confident in themselves and I hope that people get more self-esteem because for me typology is about becoming more certain, becoming more secure, becoming more confident, becoming happier and becoming more motivated. And if that's not how you feel after studying typology, you're probably doing it the wrong way. Your personal type is who you are at your best. It's what gives you the most energy. It's what makes you the most happy in the end. So think about what will make you happy in the end. And then you know your personality type.